Dulkar, you have been delivering back-to-back -back blockbusters. Touch wood, touch wood. Absolutely <laughs> touch wood. Like, really <laughs> good. Whenever I'm people so say this, I'm like, uh. <laughs> No, Mamoka is not that calm. Huh? I've worked with him. It's not that calm. I love money, sir. I don't know if he reciprocates those feelings, but uh, I love him. No. This is why people think actors don't have any brains. Because you've That's become an actor and really forgotten all these things. No. All the intelligence was in med school. <laughs> No, 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 no. Now my brain is focusing on something else. No. Correct, correct. It cannot right, focus absolutely. on both things. You've acted with Mamuka, sir, as well as Dulkar. Uh, who's a better co star? <laughs> better co star. Trick question. I love them both. No, no, no. That's no. A very I, this is not answer. a diplomatic uh, answer. But Sakara, I think, is, is my dad. Yeah, yeah. Right. I screwed that one up, but <laughs> I will still say that he's a Chakra, and this one is also a Chakra. <laughs> Hello and welcome to News18 Shosha. Today we have with us the lead cast of King of Kotta. Uh, hello Dulkar, hello Aishwarya and hi Shabir. Welcome hello. to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, it's nice to say Kotta because... Uh, You're the only person who said it. Yes, so, uh, but uh, for the Hindi audience as well. Uh, Kotha. Sorry? Kotha. That's Kotha. It's King Kotha. of Kotha. King of Kotha. All right, right. So Dulkar, we'll start with you. You know, King of Kotha is a genre that we have not seen you much in. A complete gangster genre. What made you choose this role and what made you King of Kotha as a story? to make your, you know, first John gangster movie? Uh, so, I'm, I'm very genre agnostic. I'm very open to doing uh, anything that comes my way. I think earlier I shied away from this because I couldn't find the best scripts so or like good writing. Like they had all these commercial elements but nothing in terms of a plot or a storyline. Uh, so, I've always kind of gone by those. Like I, I always hero my scripts. Uh, but also, it's also a timing thing. I think, I think you know, I, I wanted to earn this big budget, big heroic film uh, and I think now it's been 11 years and right. uh, I think I've proved a lot of things to myself <laughs> so so when this came my way I was like I think it's got great writing it's got a really strong story it's got great conflicts uh, full of characters and everybody is very crucial to the narrative and I was like this has now substance now let's see how to garnish it you know right. it's got meat uh, and then add all these elements into it and make it as commercial and as, as large as possible. Because I think today, the order of the day is that big theatrical experience. Uh, otherwise, people aren't really True. coming, you know. I'm not saying it's, that it's a tentpole film, but it's like, um, it's something that I want people to feel like they have to only watch it in theatre. Mm. So we've gone all out to try and achieve that. Uh, Ashwarya, my question to you, you know, you're coming from the uh, success of PS2. You know, how was it, first of all, being a Maniratnam heroine? Uh, I, I love Mani, sir. I don't know if he reciprocates those feelings, <laughs> but uh, I love him. I, I, I would do anything to just be around him. Sure. I don't know why I feel that way. Maybe because I fell in love with his films and his heroines. And for me, this is a, this is a huge deal to be True. part of his film. So, I never thought such a thing would happen in my life. So... <laughs> I love him. Yeah. <laughs> Shabir, uh, you know, you are a fitness enthusiast and we saw that in Dancing Rose uh, in, in, in your movie. Oh, okay, wait, please. Yeah. I have to add something. I just came to know today that he was cast a week back. And, yeah, a week and before Sat A Sat week Sat before Oh, the, is it? Yeah. In, in and, and imagine, I thought he trained and trained and yeah, trained for the Yeah, that looked road. like it. Yeah. That looked yeah. like it. So he's generally like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was going to. <laughs> oh, boxing club, sir. <laughs> One week I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. but, but the character that you have right now over here in King of Kota is not a dancing rose character. You know, how did you prepare for this role? Kannan, right, if I'm not wrong? Yeah, Kannan. Kannan, 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 right, yes. See, I, I have two different looks in this movie because this happens over two, I mean, ten years before and ten years later. So in terms of look itself, I've, I've tried to sport uh, look. I've, like, for the earlier part, I've lost five kilos and the later part where I put six to seven kilos to look a little bigger. As far as the uh, treatment of the character, what I've done was uh, played it quite different. I can't reveal much. Uh, right. The uh, I quite, tried to play it quite different. Initially, I remember Abhi was little hesitant. What the hell is he trying to do? <laughs> that kind of a reaction. <laughs> I could see through him. Then later, when I did the other part, he could join the dots. Probably. And okay. uh, obviously, he knew what I was trying to do. But he, I didn't. I, I mean, I was. I think initially he was like, why isn't he doing anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's, I mean, preparation, I always do my homework, I always write a backstory sure. to it. So, I had to sit and talk to Abhilash Chandran to, you know, right. see what best I can write 
in terms of uh, back story to know True. what how he reacts at this point in time so angan to ke preparation unda irunu it was nice. uh, it was a uh, cohesive effort it was combined uh, right room direct room gave me a lot of inputs and he gave me a lot of input on the spot right ingena cheyadu anla undavalo those kind of inputs were there yeah. okay uh, dulkar you have been delivering back to back blockbusters touch with touch with absolutely that's so scary only would whenever people say this i'm like uh. <laughs> so you know tell me what has changed is it the way you choose projects or are the projects that come to you have changed i don't know maybe uh, earlier i wasn't uh, i wasn't thinking so much about uh, the big commercial viability of it i mean i would try to make it as commercial as possible mm. but uh, maybe now the the films are I think also the landscape changed quite a bit you know like True. the films are getting bigger True. and now people expect a certain quality uh, with all this content we're consuming people get excited when we announce a film they get excited by the technicians on the film mm. uh, so all of these things i think have come into play i don't think my approach has changed i still uh, try to find authentic original content wherever i go but i don't know maybe it's just we all uh, find that one phase in our careers maybe because it's you can't really quantify it that's true may it sustain yeah touch with may it sustain yeah. time yeah as <laughs> far yeah. you know you said earlier that you are a director's actor yeah. you know you surrender yeah ablaj was a debutant yeah you know and he's i he, still start yeah. surrendered <laughs> <laughs> no but the thing is he himself has a legacy his father was yeah. a, he's a veteran director uh when it when it came to the direction that he was doing were you at any point skeptical about whether to surrender or to you know probably a point where you have to add your own element No I was never skeptical because I am nobody to judge a director's caliber if DQ has okayed it if the production has okayed it's because they know right. and I'm very much a newcomer I will only know from the narration that if they know do they mm. can they see the story can they make it and the first one week I'll be able to judge if everything is going well um I actually uh, see if we could Uh, you know establish a better communication between the director and me okay uh, i have noticed that with amu i i found a way where i can be a better actor hmm. uh, with how the director changes the communication to me cool. i'll i'll ask for this one word that i could keep in mind while i'm performing okay uh, one word or uh, just speak to me before the shot okay uh, which is what i have been following now uh, for the few right. films that i've done from amu with uh, king of kota with ablash chetan's working he will ask me to keep doing something i will not understand so i i i'll start becoming a little like what is happening what did he want to change but he'll just say just do one more just do one more and then he'll find uh, the exact change that he wanted and then he'll call me and show me the shot right this is what i wanted then i'll understand so we it's it was more of a uh, seeing and understanding thing that happened in king of kota and i hate whatever i do in front of the camera so i i i need uh, complete validation from everybody around i'll ask everybody okay okay you think it is okay i don't think it is okay so i i when you were like everything is okay please please go home you're good go rest yeah. up but I, i'll still be thinking it's not like i i don't know if i can do it any better but i'll still want to try true um but to answer your but question you're, you're fab in the film See I have I such very very yeah, yeah. kind people around me so <laughs> you watch the film No no which no, no, whatever you see Yeah Yeah so I uh, I love working with Ablash That's nice yeah. That's nice You have Shabhi coming to you uh, you know if there is one thing that you can tell us about Dulkar that has stayed with you you know we have seen that there is a different kind of romance i think in the, during the trailer <laughs> launch also you spoke about it they are having too yeah. much romance yeah. yeah So if if there is one thing about Dulkar that you have picked up from him he's very calm Okay. Yeah. And I've seen it in the set also. And when there's chaos, he's just calm. <laughs> and I I look at him and he's just calm and he comes up with a solution. And I think that aspect I I need even but now when we are giving interviews, I'm very shy with mics and cameras. Okay. I mean, <laughs> in front of the camera, I'm really very confident, but if it's interviews and I'm kind of shy. Where you have to be yourself. Yeah, not, be not myself. Yeah. See, he is like casually tell me you just have to, you know, talk slow. just be there he needs to be directed that comes there from also. that calmness he has so True. that's one thing i'm i've like noticed and i i want to take that from yeah. him. i think See. that also comes from the legacy that he's also carrying no right? mamuka is not that calm huh? i've worked <laughs> with him it's not that calm okay that yeah. was a different picture totally <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no, no, but i i i think he he learned from him like something you would have observed and learned no i think i think i i 
you know, when I was younger, I was so insecure and afraid all the time, and afraid of the limelight, afraid of the stage, afraid of the camera, afraid of all of these things, and uh, not sure of myself. Hmm. So I think over time, all I've cared about is doing good work and and finding some confidence, uh, True. growing a little every day. True. Uh, and also, like I, I don't want to take any of this for granted. Very true. And uh, I think in also I started acting quite late, by 28. Right. So that till that till the time I got into movies, I dabbled in so many things, and you know, and so many times I faced failure. And, mm. uh, I had to really wait a lot for good things to happen. Uh, and business isn't easy. So many market conditions. You know, when I was in Dubai, the recession happened, and all of that. So like. I think I found that patience in me during that time. Right, right. And now I'm like, if I can't really control the situation, there's no point. Plus, I'm not a very confrontational person. I don't like negativity and stress. Right. You know, I don't think we work well on uh, if the environment is very negative. Negative. Right. You know? uh, stress. Yeah, we all have stress. But I'm saying, if if my set is not happy, and you know, and I'm coming there making a lot of noise or throwing tantrums or something like that, or somebody on my set mm, is. Mm. It's not a happy place for my actors or technicians to work, and right. I'm very particular about that. Also, in my this sort of pan-Indian journey uh, across all these industries, I've worked with the best productions. I've worked with the best actors and directors, and my takeaways have been all the positives. True, may that sustain as well. Touch yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And But we can vouch for it. Absolutely. We had a wonderful time shooting because wow. he was very calm. He was he, nice. he and a lot of our technicians, all all of our people. Who work together as a team? They were very warm people. Very nice. Everybody was given their own space. Nobody was trying to be a superstar or any of those things. Very nice. Such a nice. Set. It matters a lot. It too, matters. Oh my God! It everybody matters. was working like it's their own project. It's not like somebody's coming there to for some wages or to do to yeah. do their yeah, work. And the film and belonged to everybody. They, they, everybody they had ownership. The film, yeah. True. True. Dulkar, actually, taking from your answer, you know, you, when you said you you were a little insecure, you were a little underconfident. Uh, you know, especially when you started on Split Second Show in 2012, if I'm not wrong. Uh, what came into notice was that despite having a huge banner to carry, you know, Mamuti's son, Mamuti sir's son coming into the cinema, your style of acting was way different than him, and that kind of picked up. So, was this a conscious decision to probably not take much of an influence from his acting skills? No, I, I don't I see. I, he, I don't think I've ever uh, imitated him or or anyone for that matter. I'm, I'm not a very good mimic. Uh, I can't <laughs> imitate anyone for that matter. And uh, I think very early in my life, uh, uh, to some small experience of somebody mimicking Rajnikanth or something, and, and my dad is in passing. He was like, he's like, you know, that is the easier thing to do. Right uh, to be like somebody else, uh, but to find your own style and find your own voice, like, that is the hard part. Uh, so maybe that stayed with me, and I've always been my own person. I've had influences from him in in conduct and in, in style and all True. of those things, maybe. But uh, not, or maybe his passion for cinema, but not. And I do. I genuinely <laughs> don't believe that I can ever perform like him or be. Half the actor that he is, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, let's not go there. That's let's true. see if we can find something on our own. Right, I should. I'm going to make it a little difficult for you right now, uh, because we're going to make a couple of things difficult for them later. Uh, you've acted with Mamuka sir as well as Dulkar. Uh, who is a better co-star? <laughs> <laughs> Trick question. I love them both. No, no, no. That's a very I, this is not answer. a diplomatic uh, answer. Sakara, I think, is, is my dad. Yeah, yeah. Right. I screwed that one up, but I will still say that he's a chakra, and this one is also a chakra. <laughs> right. Shall we tell us one incident from the set that will stay with you forever? There are a lot of uh, incidents. The first time I, I've told this in my other interview also. Like one scene we were doing, it's inside my house, and I was just sitting. I'm. I'm thorough with my lines and all that, and he had to do his line. He did it, and straight came to me and was like, uh, "I did it this way. Is it working for you?" I was like, "Lone of heaven. <laughs> for me, this guy's a star. And why is he coming and asking me? I mean, of all person, does it work for you?" I said, "I feel it. I mean, that that was. I, I was taken aback. I was like, why does he have to discuss? I mean, that showed the kind of person he is, True. and it it." It also, for me, it, it made me feel at home, like I'm working in a theatre production where nice. I can discuss bounce of ideas and True. all that. 
that's one thing I keep telling my friends around. Oh, this is what happened. You know, this is what happened. <laughs> Such a nice experience. I'm gonna. That's nice. Okay, we are done with the questions. We have a few uh, quick fire questions and a little fun elements. So we have a doctor in the gang. Okay, so I have taken some uh, medical terms from her. Okay, that I want you guys to guess, and she'll be the judge of Please it. Please okay? don't tell them about the appendix situation. <laughs> ah, which I want to know later. Yeah. No, 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 no. Off camera. <laughs> yeah, please. Okay, so the first word is you can both take your guesses. Uh, glomeruli. If I, if I'm saying it right. Sorry, what? Glomeruli. Glomeruli. Yes. Glomeruli. Ah, okay. Glomeruli. Have you heard it before? Glomeruli is easy. <laughs> what? Glomeruli. <laughs> Glomeruli. Any guesses? Wild guesses. Is it what is? Is it like is it a, a condition? Is it a condition? I don't know. So either. what? What am I supposed to do? You Tell them what it is. No. Yeah. So later on, lead, right, lead us right. to what it could be. Okay. They don't even know what it is. Yeah. Your biology classes? No, no, oh. just the wild so guess. It's the filtration uh, system of the kidney, the the single unit that filters your blood. Oh, that. Okay. Let me know. Yeah, yeah. Kidney. Normal only. Normal only. We call it normal. Yeah. We call it kidney thing. Kidney, kidney. Tali le kidney mana kabar? Okay, uh, the next one is felty syndrome. Uh, the, the what? what? Felty syndrome. No, no, no. This was uh, one of the questions that was asked uh, on from one of my viewers, <laughs> and I remember having like, "Ha, ah, I know this. I know this. I know this." So this always plays in the, and I couldn't answer this question for my viewer. So when he asked me this, like, tell me three things that you guys might not. You know. only gave this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He asked me for it. Ah, there's a type of. Yeah, phone, a phone, can't that there. See, this is why we didn't go to med school. <laughs> this doesn't so get into he our heads. Wanted, he wanted you guys to feel like you know nothing. We <laughs> don't know anything. Absolutely. This is not working have at question. all. So this is like a triad of syndromes. Okay. Uh, like rheumatic arthritis and neutropenia, and then one more something is there. So which I forgot during the viva also. So this is like one thing that keeps playing in my so head. I should have. You started right? so no, much and no. forgot. <laughs> I still tried. No. One thing I've already forg forgotten: neutropenia, rheumatic arthritis, and something else was there. Forgot. See, one thing <laughs> is okay. gone. This is what happens during viva. Please make it less pressure. <laughs> this, <laughs> is why, nice this is why people think actors don't have any brain because you <laughs> become an actor really and forgotten all these things. No. All the intelligence was in med school. <laughs> No, 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 no. Now my brain is focusing on something else. Correct. No, it cannot right, focus absolutely. on both things. Yeah. Very true. Very true. Uh, okay, I'll skip the last one for them. It's okay. No, no, that you ask. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, epiglottis. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. But you know the dialogue. Epiglottis. Uh, which Kha. dialogue? Kha. 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 From the epiglottis. From the epiglottis. Kha. Ah, Kha. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Right. Okay. See, you could have dumbed it down for us. No? Epiglottis will know. I don't know. You I, just asked. Which is why I didn't choose gave. the words. It was just out of. The Some med school terms are look. That's anyway, what he. Go on, go on. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, no yeah. problem. Okay, so if there was no concept of time and money, what would you guys be doing apart from acting? Well, I'll have a organic farm. I'll have a lot of dogs, um, cows, maybe one elephant. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'll take my father and mother, go there, cultivate, eat the same thing. Maybe I'll want a pond on the side. What do you the same ask? like Kutta? <laughs> Ah huh? no there's a pond in Gujarat no no not that money. pond what would you be doing yeah. in life so this so you... and i'll want to live there what about you two just travel i want to solo travel solo trek rather okay. alpine style just just go and like i just did a alpine course couple of months i had to rush back because i had a shoot so i had to just i, I want to just solo trek and hike and all that. nice so basically okay. travel yeah no hike not travel hike okay like mountains. hiking yeah, okay yeah. understood all alone solo no so, solo you said what sorry. about you I think uh, I don't know time and money, but but uh, I wish I could be making movies and being at home all the time at the same, at the same time. time. Nice. Uh, okay, the shortest and the best Insta bio for each other. You can't come in for yourself. You have to say it for Dulkar. Dulkar can say it for Shabir. Shortest and sweetest what? Insta, Insta bio. bio. Like a social media bio. Shortest one. Not Insta like Shabir. Yeah, you will say for Aishwarya. Aishwarya will be saying it for Shabir, and Shabir will say it for you. Aishwarya. I'm thinking. I need time to think. Um, this is quick fire. <laughs> I'd say energizer bunny. Uh, You're good with captions, which is why. I <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. I'd good say, with hashtags also. Yeah. I'd say energizer bunny. Uh, almost doctor. <laughs> <laughs> almost. <laughs> I think we should run that uh, with the felt <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> together. <laughs> almost doctor, but now uh, passionate actor. And I have to say that for Shabir, Shabir. fitness <laughs> enthusiast, <laughs> dot travel 
junkie. Junkie, okay. Bro. Hiker. Hiker and action superstar. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. You have to say for Dulka. Go to person. Nice. Yeah. That's the yeah. first thing which comes to mind. Go to person. Yeah. Okay. The mm-hmm. one role that you regret passing on. One, one role. Regret? Yeah. One role that you regret passing on. I don't you think I, I. I don't think I've ever heard Nothing anything. Nothing is there. Huh? heard anything passed on it and regretted it yeah. uh, i think some have not some i've missed because of some communication gap or i couldn't take that meeting or something like that. right one last question that's for dulka wayfair of films or dq the actor what do you choose oh tough um, dq the actor wayfair yeah. of films won't exist otherwise absolutely thank you so much on that note thank you so much for your time dulkar aishwarya and shreya thank you i'm sorry for rushing you but this was fun like yeah. I, i would have liked for it to go on a little longer yeah. <laughs> thank you so much thank, thank you thank you, thank you.